Hey, what's up everybody? This is Clayton from Go Analytics, and today I want to share with you a, a preview feature that Power BI has recently released that gets us around uh, left indenting the measures when we want to add it in as a text or, or even if it's a, a number measure that we wanted to left align. Uh, currently using the card visual, we're not able to do that, so I'll show you a workaround that. So let's head over to my laptop and uh, have a look at how we do that. Uh, now, in order to do this, uh, you will have to uh, first enable uh, the feature uh, because it is a preview feature. So the way to do that is we go over to File and select our Options and Settings and Options. And from the Preview Features tab here, we can see a, a wealth of features that Power BI has released uh, that they are previewing. Uh, but the one that we're going to use is the smart narrative visual. So I already have that checked off. Um, if you don't, then you check it off, hit OK. Now you will be required to uh, restart Power BI in order for these changes to take effect. Uh, but I've already done it, so we're already in here. So what I'm trying to do here is I've got a data set here with some students and their midterm uh, final exam grades, as well as their overall uh, average in a course. Uh, and what I want to do is I want to have a title over here that is dynamic, uh, that pulls in the student's name, uh, as well as which course that I've selected. Uh, and I do want that title to be left indented to uh, align here with this box. Uh, similarly, I want some uh, dynamic comments here uh, in this box uh, to sort of put words to what we're seeing here in the visuals in terms of the student's grade. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I've already created the measures that we're gonna be using. Uh, the first one I'll just show you, it is the report title. Uh, so I'm just taking the student's um, class uh, and then the name that I wanna title this report uh, and the student name. And as well, I have some comments uh, for the student uh, that basically generates some text uh, about their grade, uh, what what is their grade reflective of. So this is uh, some dynamic uh, text that you can generate in Power BI if you're not familiar with that. Um, I will make another video uh, showing you how to do that. So if we go back in here into Power BI, um, first things first, let's deal with the title. Now I'll show you how uh, usually you would do this is with the card visual. Um, so if I choose that card visual and put in our report title, uh, two things uh, should be noticeable here. Uh, that kind of makes this not ideal. One is that it automatically throws in uh, the, the name of our measure at the bottom. And because it's a title, I don't want that. Um, and the other thing, is that it is centered and with this visual there is no way to make it left indent and uh, i'll just make the font a little bit smaller so that you can see that it is centered and there is no way for us to indent it to the left so this is a problem when you're trying to uh, for example deal with uh, text or a, a dynamic title of this sort um, if you want to have it start at the left or maybe at the right. Um, so a good way to, uh, to get around this is using the Smart Narratives um, preview feature that Power BI has recently released. And uh, you can either access it from the visual here as a Smart Narrative. Now the Smart Narrative will uh, auto-generate uh, text for you based on the visuals that are on your page. But you can also use uh, the feature that I'm about to show from the text box. Uh, if you just insert uh, a text box in here, we'll just resize it um, and make it um, align there with our text. Now, what I can do in here is I can add a value. I, as you'll see, this there's this little uh, border here that didn't have, used to be there before with the, the Smart Narratives preview feature. Uh, and I can actually add values and uh, basically use plain language to tell Power BI what I want to throw in there. So I'll just tell it that I want my report title. 
and then I'll hit save and para we have our title left indented and this is a text box so we can um, center it we can align it right we can align it left we can change the font if we want we can make it bigger uh, and we can change the color so this is a pretty neat little feature in terms of getting around uh, the whole issue of not being able to left indent uh, the text or any sort of measure um, from the card uh, type of visual so I could do the same thing now for my comments. Um, as you can see, this is already a text box. So I can just add a value here and I'll add in my comments uh, measure and it'll auto-populate my text. And I can, you know, do things like uh, push it down or, you know, anything that you can do with text. Uh, you're also able to do with this, uh, such as changing the font, changing the font size, color, bolding, um, all the, the usual features of a text box. But now you have this uh, measure that you can throw in there uh, and you're not limited to only having it aligning in the center. So that's uh, how you left align some measures in Power BI. We'll see you in the next video.